Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently saw Satellite Girl and Milk Cow and this is probably my third, yeah I could say this is my third Korean film because I'm counting Miracle and Cell 24. This is a very cute movie. It's absolutely adorable. It's sweet. It's lighthearted. There's a lot of good emotion in it. It's <laughs> dreamy and romantic. And it's just absolutely fantastic. It's very innovative, very unique. And it has a lot of fantastical elements in it that I really, really like. Um, Kyung Jung, he is the main character, and then of course, small spoiler alert, but you've got a character as a satellite as well, but um, I'm not going to go too much into the plot, because if I do, it's going to ruin it if you want to see it, but as far as animated films go, this is terrific, and I love it. I mean, the animation's beautiful. The characters are very stupendous. They're they're all incredible and very likable and um, different and eclectic and very rare. And this is extremely creative, too. It's, it's just... It's unlike anything I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of films in my time, so... Um, and a lot of them have, have been really unusual and, and weird. And this is the bizarre type of movie that is just is so exceptional that you can't help but love it. Um, this is so much better than Doggy Do. I don't know if I ever did a, a review of that, but if I did, that movie is the worst movie I've ever seen. One of the worst animated films I've ever seen. It doesn't really top my list. But, eh, yeah, it, it's up there as probably one of the worst animated films I've ever seen. Yeah, it has its good points, but when you have a sentient piece of fecal matter, yeah, I'm not really <laughs> keen on the film. But that one is lesser known. I really wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, it's cute, and it looks like it's stop motion, but as far as movies are concerned, I just, it wasn't one that carried my attention or moved me in any way. My Beautiful Girl Mari, however, oh, that movie, oh, that one made me cry. That one was actually quite sad beautiful though it was just this heartbreakingly gorgeous movie done in computer generated animation and i have to say that this is probably one of my favorite korean animes ever <laughs> other than this one i think tops my list just because it's just um so very different like i said there are just so many elements that come together in this including a little bit of legend that hails from English and Celtic lore, which I really wasn't expecting. And I thought, where the heck? That is really cool. And me being a fan of that, and I'm not going to say who the character is, but immediately when I saw him, I just, oh, it was the best thing ever for me because... He is probably one of my favorite characters in all literature and seeing him resembled in this way. <coughs> the other um, incarnation I like of him is in Ready Player One. So that's just a little bit of a spoiler there. Just the tip of the iceberg. If Yeah, that was I, I planted a seed there. You probably already know if you've watched my review. But... Um, I'm not giving that much away, honestly. It was just a very teensy, tiny, minuscule spoiler. Uh, the, the movie is just, it's outstanding, though. I, I give it two thumbs way up, five stars, hands down. The music in this movie is just out of this world. <laughs> um, I love the songs. I love the message that... Um, 
Kim Jong actually portrays. Um, I had seen a little bit of Lou over the wall, so it, it kind of reminded me of Lou over the wall. But I haven't seen the entirety of Lou over the wall, so I can't really make an assessment of it. Although, just being the fact that a mermaid is in it is enough to just make me love it, because I am a mermaid <laughs> myself. Um, <laughs> but nonetheless, I just, I love this this movie just the message the lessons the um little morality uh pinpoints that the film makes it's it's not preachy and it's just it's different it's different it's fun it's lighthearted. there's a lot of good action it's not too scary i think anybody can enjoy it there really isn't any bad language in it so far as i know not anything that would be you know um harmful well even if it if it did i don't think it would be anything that would ruin a child's life forever um this is a movie a whole family can enjoy, really. It's for adults. It's for children. And G-Kids does a good, a good, just, they do a solid job of this. And there are a lot of others that I really want to see. I have Napping Princess, but I haven't seen it yet. And I intend on seeing that in the near future or doing a review of it. But, of course, I have to get through the whole remainder of the season of Game of Thrones, which I have seasons six through eight, so it's going to take me a while to get through it, but no matter really, um, I really quite savored the movie, and I hope in seeing a lot more of the G-Kid G -Kid films, because I have, um, a Cat in Paris, Ernest, uh, Celeste and Ernestine, or Ernest and Celeste, I do believe it's called, which uh, I think is Sylvain Chomet. I don't know if it's Sylvain Chomet's work. I I love Sylvain. I've I've seen all of his films except for The Doves. I think it's called The Doves or is it The Birds? I can't remember which, but it's one I cannot locate for the life of me. And if anybody has a link to it, I would please send it to me because Sylvain, as far as I'm concerned, is one of my muses. I just, I love this man. I want to meet him. He is um, an inspiration to me, and I love his tongue-in-cheek humor. He's very witty. He's the type of person that I would just love to talk to because I love people who are satirists. Um, and I think his depiction of Americans is spot on. <laughs> I mean, I, even though I'm, you know, I'm a patriot, but <laughs> I'm not mad. It's it's accurate. It's it's very um, apropos. So of course I'm not going to be upset with that. It's art imitating life. <laughs> um, I wanted to get the rabbi's cat because that just the the topic, the whole thing really interests me, even though I am um, a fervent Christian. I'm not a fundamentalist. I have an open mind. I am a person who, uh, in due time, I will be reading the Lesser and Greater Keys of Solomon. So, yeah. <laughs> Please don't tell me I'm going to hell for that, but I've read all the pseudo-epigrapha. I am reading the Book of Mormon. I've read the Bible about three, four times now. I'm going to read it again. I uh, have yet to read the Gnostic Bible. I have not read the Kabbalah. I did I did read a copy of the Kabbalah, but not the, the actual Kabbalah. Uh, I plan on doing that. I've read everything else. Uh, let's see. I want to see Forgotten Bird Boy and the Forgotten Children. It looks st st just stellar. Um, I like the, just the gothic feel of it. I think there's one called Pickle Boy. That one, I think, is done with stop motion, which I'm a huge fan of stop motion, if you know me well. Because Leica is, you know, they are the end all right now when it comes to stop motion. And they really, they're just, they too, <laughs> I would love to work for Leica, honestly. Um, that's basically all I have to say. I think those are the only films I could think of other, other than um, M MFKS. MFKS looks... Uh, Incredible Primari is another one. Uh, Weathering With You was another. Uh, Primari, I think, has come out on DVD. I, I don't have the money, but I'm thinking of doing a, 
a Patreon for <clears throat> G-Kid films or just recent releases in, in the G-Kid category because I know a lot of people, a lot of my gardeners have been supporting me in the reviews I've been doing. Um, and Satellite Girl and Milk Cow was something that I just came upon as a kind of willy-nilly thing and I love Korean film. I just, I love foreign film in general. And I haven't really seen a lot of Korean movies. One that I really want to see is Parasite. Because I've heard nothing but good on Parasite. And after seeing Miracle in Cell 24, I thought, yeah, this has definite potential. Plus, it plays as a twist film and it's very psychological. And I love the trailer. The trailer, who it, it, it kind of plays like a horror movie <laughs> in a way. I thought, oh, this is right on my alley, <laughs> really. Because uh, that kind of horror movie, like The Shining, is something I absolutely love. And I write like that, too. I, I write a lot like, I don't know if I could say I, I write like Crichton. Because I, I like to put a suspense into my tale. Keep people white-knuckling their chairs. I love to do that. Because <laughs> I have a real penchant. Um... I don't know what else to say, honestly, but that's pretty much all I've been up to. Um, um, that's all I'm going to leave. I've, I've been working a lot of, on a lot of other things. My class is going to begin tomorrow. So, I shall leave you with that. Until next time, live long and prosper. Ciao, Tootsie.